Morning. Today we've come out to a local reservoir, mainly because it's bloody hot. We're having a lovely spell of weather here in the UK. We've got about two weeks now, another week, and I'll be looking forward to horse pipe bands, won't we? Because this is what always happens, isn't it? We're not prepared for it. You get these countries all over the world that are baking hot all year round. Still got water coming out of the taps. <clears throat> two weeks in the UK and that's it. Right, lads, down your horse pipes. Molly's mooching about behind me in the leaves. We're under some trees because it's cool and it's nice. So we're into June now. And it's fabulous. But what I've noticed is, since my last uh, post, a lot of the blossoms been and gone. It goes very quickly. The cherry blossoms been and gone. The apple blossoms been and gone. The hawthorn's gone. It is here, it's blossomed, that brilliant white. Now it's turning a pink and going. All that, uh, that's it now. So all your colour and all your smells and all your beautiful stuff tend to come in spring and then in summer because it's warmer, it's flat. It's too warm, it's too dry for things. So everything kind of shuts down and that's it. So if you're going to plant flowers and things in your garden, you will find that it's difficult to find things that flower all year round. Mortimer flower in spring, which is beautiful and it's nice. My dog's enjoying herself. It's June and it was Molly's birthday a couple of days ago. And it's mine in a couple of weeks. We're both getting older by the minute as are we all. But this is a gorgeous spot. It's quite quiet today. It, it can be quite busy around here with dog walkers, but it's quiet and we're in a woodland and it's cool. And I'm looking out across a reservoir that is actually quite low and the sun is on the edges of the reservoir. It's like a precursor of what's to come because it's going to get warmer as the day goes on. And I don't mind about that at all. We're going to sit in the shade with a beer and do the old retirement thing. The birds are still very, very vocal in the morning because in summer, if you notice, if you, if you go look about, about you and think about it, they actually go a lot quieter in summer because it's warm, so warm. But at the moment, they are quite still vocal, which is gorgeous. And in the very, very still air of the morning, it's, it's loud and it's crisp and it's beautiful and it's... Uh, it's a beautiful chorus and there you go. We've come back out into the fields now. It's absolutely gorgeous. The sun's dropped, uh, the, the, the wind has dropped. So it's quite calm now. And you, you can tell the temperatures are gonna rise over the day, which is quite lovely. <clears throat> the fields, as you can see here, are completely covered in buttercups and all sorts of little bits of wildflowers. There's the occasional person walking the dog. But it is just so pleasant. Molly loves running through this grass. She's bouncing along. She'll be absolutely worn out when we get home. I can hear the birds just passing a very, very, very large, statuesque, beautifully shaped oak behind me. Absolutely gorgeous. There's a few clouds in the sky. The sky is a beautiful blue. The clouds are very white. There's contrails going across the sky. And all we can hear are the bird song and my feet brushing through the grass. This is all you need. You don't need any more than this. I've been thinking lately about what to do now with the rest of my life like i've said before i'm actually renting at the moment just because of circumstances sold the boat can't afford another to buy another house so i'm actually renting at the moment so i'm actually toying with the idea when this rental period is up i'm just buggering off and then spending six months renting elsewhere in the country get up to scotland probably can't afford to rent in the most beautiful of places but if i can rent somewhere that's accessible to it so i may think about doing that it's like the old person's being younger and now being able to work remotely working off the internet working from home and being able to have a base i've had that once before when i worked in the oil rigs and all i used to do was get phone calls or tickets sent through 
um, where I was flying to. So it didn't really matter where I lived. I could have lived in Tierra del Bloody Fuego or wherever it was near to an airport. So it's that kind of thing. Anyway, it's just something I'm thinking about. I wouldn't leave our beautiful country. And I love the northwest of the country as well. It's kind of, how can I put it? It's non-threatening. <laughs> it's benign. It's friendly. It's dog friendly. It's people friendly. The people are nice. The countryside is beautiful. As it is wherever you are in the country, I'm absolutely sure. Because we all love where we live, don't we? Oh, this is nice. It's warming up by the minute. I can feel the warmth from the back of my bald head. And it is warming up by the minute. This augurs well for a beautiful day. What to do? Where to go? It's about my level of excitement at the moment. Used to be very devil may care. Charging about on motorbikes and racing them and doing all sorts of daft tricks. Never get excited about where I'm gonna go and walk in the countryside. It's so beautiful. There's, looking up at the trees now, and I can see the tops of the trees. Because I've got trees all around me, it's quite calm. But the tops of the trees are all blowing away like mad. So there is a breeze out there. And I look across and I can see trees rocking in the, in the, in the breeze. So it must be quite a, a wind. But I don't really feel it here. We're walking through a beautiful avenue of trees here. It's probably about a mile long. And there are several of these and they radiate out from Liverpool Castle in that direction, which is a folly <clears throat> built in about 1920 by, or from 1900 to about 1925, was unfinished when Lord Leverhulme died, but it was built by Lord Leverhulme, who owned all this land. So there's a castle up there at the, on the edge of the reservoir, which is a beautiful place to visit. <clears throat> and then you get these avenues of trees radiating out in all directions. Very pretty. But what you find, and I spoke about this in another video I did <clears throat> about the clever landscaping. What you find is there's a line of trees dead, dead straight on either side, right? So you, then you've got trees, you've got this canopy on either side, but that wouldn't be enough because then you will kind of look up um, and you see the sky beyond them. So what they've done, they put another line of trees about 30 feet behind that, beyond it on both sides. So the foliage and the leaves and the branches, they fall down. So what you've got then is you've got leaves above you, but they don't stop where this canopy of these line of trees stops. It carries on. So then you've got this canopy of trees that goes all the way down to the ground on either side. Damn clever these people were, weren't they? Slightly post-Victorian. They're like these pendulous flower things on all the horse chestnuts. So then later in the year, they will turn into conkers. The ones that schools won't let you play with anymore because it might hurt Johnny. I was brought up in a totally different generation. For the good or for the bad, I don't know. Crow over there, can you hear it? Molly's mooching in the grass. There's dappled light in front of me. I don't know if you can see it. The sun's coming through the trees, so there's this dappled light and we're walking towards it. And it's almost inviting. It gives the walk interest, points of interest. And so we're gonna walk, we're walking into the light now. Oh, the temperature immediately goes up by a few degrees. All very clever. We're actually heading back to the car now. We parked the car about a mile in that direction. So we're going to go there and then I'm going to put my gear in and then we're going to walk in another direction up towards some more woods that we know. We're going to spend a couple of hours there and then we're going to go back have a bit of breakfast, or it will probably be lunch by that time. It's Monday. Have a good week, everyone.
make as much of the sunshine as you can after work. We don't get a lot of it in this country. Make the most of it. Get out in the countryside. I won't tell you again. Have a great week, people. Peace and love from me and Molly.